Hi, this is Anthony with a review and demo of Video Skins, which is a web based software that allows you to brand your videos. So, first, let me share some of the key features of Video Skins and then I will show you a quick demo. So, Video Skins allows you to take video marketing to the next level, you know, by adding clickable call to action buttons right inside your videos. You can add clickable links that allow you to share social media buttons so users can connect, like, share, or tweet. You can generate leads with lead capture forms right inside your videos. You can even insert countdown timers inside your videos. And there is so much more. Uh, you can even customize all these elements, which I'll show you in a moment. So you essentially log into your um, account to start creating your video skins and then you will see your dashboard displaying some of the video stats based on the videos that you've created. Um, obviously what I've done is I tested this and then I just uh, you know deleted all the videos because I was start from scratch. Um, you will also see a list of um, all the video skins and um, the ones that you've created and then you can organize them in groups. So the create new section uh, is where you create new video skins and I'll get to this in a moment. You will find helpful tutorials under the knowledge base, uh, knowledge base uh, section and under settings you will uh, be able to change your email and password and finally uh, if you find uh, if you need help you know you can uh, use the contact support. So now let me just show you a quick demo. Okay, so to create a new video skin, go to this uh, section that says create new. And then you'll be brought to this section right here. So I'm going to be using a YouTube video for this example. So just drop this down and choose, you can choose uh, YouTube, um, Amazon S3 or use an embed code. So I'm going to be choosing the YouTube one. Uh, in this section you just paste um, the YouTube video URL and then give it a name. I'm just going to call, call this uh, Explain Dio um, 2.0 Review. And then if you created a group you can select this. Um, I'm not going to do that right now. And then under the status just click or choose Published. Then click Next. And then uh, in this section right here you need to choose a video skin. There are 20 uh, templates here but you can also create your own. Uh, for simplicity's sake I'm going to choose just one of these templates uh, here and I'm going to go with um, you know this one right here. So you just hover your mouse and then just click that add button and once you do that uh, you will see that the video will be imported and uh, don't worry about how it looks. It looks a little elongated as you can see here but don't worry about that. Everything can be customized. So in this section right here to the left is where you've got all your elements that, that can be added to the video. So for example this is the play button. As you can see there is no play button on the video but the, the play button is right here. There's like a, a bar right at the bottom to control the, the play, a pause and then of course the, the volume and all that stuff. But again this all depends on um, you know what player you use but again like I said you can customize everything. So um, this one right here in this example I'm just going to show you a couple of things. So for example this one right here is a social button so as you can see if I you need to basically drag and drop not just click you need to drag and then you basically just drop it there. So as you can see um, it just automatically drags but as you can see right now because the background of the video is sort of black um, you cannot see this, right? So if you scroll at the bottom, you'll see a whole bunch of uh, settings that you can choose or different types of, uh, as you can see, I'm going to choose one like this one and as you can see now it's much more visible, right? Now the good thing about this is when you embed this once you've completed it and you embed it on your blog or website, these are all clickable links. So for this example, like I'm showing you the, uh, you know, the Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, and Pinterest, uh, you obviously do not need to include all of them. But down below here, um, you basically just, uh, you know, include all your um, links to the various social networks. Okay, so once you have your um, 
you know links for the various social networks you can click save but I uh, just wanted to quickly mention that um, for example if you do not enter the link for let's just say YouTube in here then the YouTube buttons are going to show up here so it's sort of intuitive so if you just enter Facebook Twitter and Pinterest only those three buttons are going to show up the YouTube one won't show up and uh, what you want to do is in case for example if I leave this um, if I leave this blank the time um, it's going to play or it's going to show throughout the video. If you want it to appear at a specific time, like I mentioned, you would enter uh, from and to. And now bear in mind that this time here is in seconds. So for example, you know, if you want to show it, um, you know, 30 seconds in, it would be 30 seconds to whatever, right? Or if it's from one minute onwards, it would be 60 seconds and, and so on. So then you essentially just save this. And once you save it, uh, it basically saves it into your uh, dashboard and uh, you can do a quick preview to see what it looks like by clicking this preview button and um, let me just click that and as you can see it'll start playing the video in, in a, there you go and as you can see all those buttons are showing up right there they're live and to embed the video uh, to your website or blog you click on this embed code button and it will give you this embed code just copy that control C and you can then go to your website or blog this is just an HTML editor it would be this pretty much same thing you know you go to the uh, HTML editor in HTML um, mode and then just paste that code in there and then if you preview it uh, you will see that it's um, it's right there and it'll actually start playing and, and as you can see the button show up right there okay so let me show you a couple more examples so one of the other elements that you can add to the video are opt-in forms so this one right here has got a uh, icon that looks like a paper plane uh, you, if you click on it and just scroll down you will notice that it's got a whole bunch of um, settings there that you can uh, change there are a couple of forms that you can include if you check just watch this um, section right here when I check this box as you can see it includes this um, opt-in form the other one form 2 basically covers the whole video and again it's got two fields there it uh, it allows you to you know customize pretty much uh, you know uh, the the color the size the font uh, and whatnot and right at the bottom right here under option form settings you can um, depending on which vendor you've got Aweber, MailChimp, uh, GetResponse and a whole bunch of others as you can see you can basically connect them to uh, the specific provider and then it works on the same principle once you include the form in there uh, you know whichever it is um, you basically embed the code and uh, you can as I said in include multiple elements as in you can have uh, earlier I showed you uh, the social buttons you can have the social buttons plus this form maybe you want to put this form right towards the end of the video uh, or you know somewhere where you uh, want to call to action okay so let me show you one more example um, this one right here, like I said earlier, I will create separate uh, tutorials to show you, uh, you know, how to work with um, all these different elements. But uh, for this example, I'm going to work with this button. So this one right here, this got its arrow, um, allows you to insert a button on the video. So for example, if you just drag and drop that here, uh, as you can see, you've got a button. Uh, it's a clickable button that can be, you can sh customize it, um, and that button, you can link it to whatever, a website, a blog, or a separate URL that you want it to be redirected to, uh, right inside of the video. And uh, as you can see, if I scroll right at the bottom here, you can change the shape, the size. Uh, let's just say, you know, uh, I want to work with this one right here. As you can see right now, it's green, but if I scroll down to the bottom, I can change that. First of all, let's just say I want to the text to be click here and then I can change the font I can ch change the color of the text uh, right down in this box I can change the color let's just say you know I want it um, to be maybe what red or orange or whatever it is orange it is and um, if I scroll up as you can see now it's been changed um, the text has been changed the color um, and uh, the, the font and the beauty of it is in this box right here that says link I can copy and paste any link uh, let's, let's just say it's to my website or blog or a separate URL where I want you know the person to download something 
uh, you can link it to whatever you wanted. And down in these two boxes, uh, like I mentioned earlier, you can make this button appear at a specific time uh, during the video. Uh, this is again, like I said earlier, uh, in seconds. So if it's like you know one minute uh, in, it'll be you know 60 seconds to whatever. Okay. If you leave it uh, blank, it's going to show up uh, throughout the video. Okay. Now the beauty of this again is you can have various elements. Uh, it, you're not limited to the number of elements, but of course you want to be cognizant of the fact that you don't want to overload this and make it too crowded. Uh, and then you want to once you're satisfied with the thing, you just click save. You can preview it here, and uh, you get the embed code right here. So as you can see, this uh, piece of software is very versatile. Um, you can use it for call to action if you're an affiliate marketer or internet marketer. This is very, very uh, powerful, uh, you know, for you. As well as if you are in business and you're, you know, creating videos um, to promote your business or you're doing it for creating videos for your clients, uh, this is an invaluable tool. As you know, video is um, is one of the fastest growing and increasing in popularity um, in terms of the internet, and uh, you want to use the power of video and leverage from it. And um, you can add a whole bunch of uh, you know different types of uh, overlays, like I said. Uh, for example, even uh, an image. This one right here allows you to add an image and again link it to a specific website. Uh, this one right here, you can include a countdown timer. Um, this one right here allows you to include text. But um, you know, hope that uh, gives you a good idea of the power of this uh, software and how you can use it uh, to leverage from it for your business. Well, hope that gave you a good look at the versatility of video skins. Uh, these are some of the uh, launch prices, and uh, they obviously may be different by the time you see this video. So the basic package gives you, um, you know, personal commercial rights, but is limited to three videos, two groups, and three video skins with basic support. The unlimited um, user package gives you personal commercial rights uh, and is basically gives you unlimited number of videos, unlimited video groups, over 20 video skins and premium support. And finally, the developer rights package gives you a license to create video skins for your clients with unlimited number of videos, unlimited video groups, and over 20 video skins with premium support. Uh, there were a whole bunch of um, bonuses, early bird bonuses, which uh, made this pretty much a no-brainer. Obviously, this was an early bird bonus, so by the time you get to that um, page, you, you will probably not uh, see any of those. But even without these bonuses, the software is incredibly useful and powerful for a one-time, lifetime small payment. Uh, generally, from my experience, for this kind of a software, you'd be paying sort of a monthly fee. So I purchased the developer rights uh, package because of its value. So if you want to create one of these branded videos you know for yourself uh, do let me know and i will do my best uh, anyway hope you found this uh, video useful if you did give it a thumbs up and subscribe and uh, thanks for watching